Here is the ultimate question of your readiness for college. Five seconds, answer the question. The SAT is not a test of what you know. It's a test of how you think. It's not a math test. It's not a reading test. It's a get the answer test. In order to be efficient with the test, we essentially have to set out to trick people. There was always sort of this idea that it's me against the Scantron. The test doesn't measure what you've learned in school. My mom like forced me to go to Think Tank. It's four hours a day, four times a week. Families that will spend thousands of dollars in SAT prep, you feel compelled to put this money into it. A lot of the pressure that comes on these students is that without this type of preparation and ability, you will not live a good life. My parents always say that, like, they want me to do better than they did. They're investing in your future, but I don't know if I'm that good of an investment. She's very smart. She can do very well on this test until you put a clock on her. You're too slow. You're too slow. You need to move on. I have a lot of friends that are in the same boat. What does it mean, that 750? Is it a good score because somebody's really bright or because somebody's really well trained? These are not standardized tests. The claim to authority behind this test is deeply problematic. They did find out the emperor had no clothes. And instead of saying, oh gosh, the guy's naked, oh how embarrassing, they said, hey, let's test more. <laughs> Kids are spending three months on test prep. It stands for nothing, and everybody thinks it stands for something. You tested irrelevant words. You tested math that didn't matter. I think we've created a generation of students that are used to taking tests and being measured by their performance on tests. What does it encourage kids to do? What does it encourage kids to learn? What does it encourage schools to teach?